SIP arrives in my full forecast in just a couple of minutes. The latest in news back over to you, Steve. Thank you, Zach. Criminals scamming the elderly are good at making them believe that a need is urgent and that they must send money right away. They say that their dog needs emergency vet care, or maybe they pretend to be your grandchild in jail in need of bail money. They often say that you've got to make the payment by the close of business today. U.S. Attorney William Elenfeld urges people to pause, take a deep breath, and before doing anything, call someone that you trust for advice. You, in fact, send the money to this person who you've never met. Uh, should you send bail money to another state because you believe your grandchild's in trouble? You should try to call your grandchild. Uh, or you should try to call uh, that grandchild's parent or someone else in their life before you rush to the bank, withdraw money, or rush to the bank and try to wire money. Uh, that happens every day. He says never send money to anyone you've only met online or on the phone. And if you haven't met them in person, don't send them money. Don't click on a link or an attachment in an email. That could allow criminals to access your computers and devices. Elenfeld says it's only natural to rush to help someone that you believe is in trouble, but in his words, press the pause button and find out more information. 7 News is your local election.